Hello friends, let's get crafting. I'm using a Dollar Tree pizza pan to make a clock. Uh, these are the parts I used. I bought a kit at Michael's. Find the center by marking the middle and rotating it in the opposite direction. And then where you make your X, that is the middle of the uh, pizza pan and where you want to drill. So it's right around six inches and put your hole in there. It didn't take a whole lot of effort and I used a 3 8 inch drill bit. And I'm just checking it out making sure that the uh, clock kit, the part goes in there and fits okay and it seems like I got the right drill bit. It also shows that I've got it taped off um, in hindsight, I recommend not taping it off yet because this is where I'm sanding the, uh, the tin and then I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to get all the oil and all the sanding stuff off of there. Just do the entire thing um, at the same time and you'll see that I did it later on the rim but it sure works better. Um, to do it all right away then tape it and now I'm just putting down the white Waverly chalk paint for a base um, sanding it does give it a something to adhere to even though with chalk paint you shouldn't have to but for this I really wanted things to stay nice and not chip off and so while everything is still wet with the white paint, I am using um, a truffle color, which is a brown, and I'm just doing, putting in some lines to make it look like board wood and just kind of freehanding where I think it might, you know, work. And again, working while things are wet and that they can blend well. Okay, and that was the color steel, a Waverly chalk paint. And just applying some of that as like a dry brush. So you don't have tons of paint on there, but you're getting that. Plus you're pulling out some of that truffle brown. And then it looks like, what do I got there? I've got more white. And basically you're just blending and adding color where you feel it needs it. Um, it's part of the fun because it's going to be whatever it is you feel it needs to be. You know, just stop when you feel like it looks good. The browns and grays are good because it does make it look old and rustic. And when I get done, you'll see how well that, that just kind of makes it look great and it's easy to do. And sometimes you may need to just give it a little time. Um, look at it again and you'll go, oh, I think it needs this. And that's probably what you need is just to go back and add a little bit. I, I didn't need to do it this time, but there are times when I need to just step back and then come back and go, now I understand why I'm not, this isn't looking quite right. Okay, so then I was just showing the three colors. And then at the end, I did kind of take some of that silver lining and go over it. And that tray was mostly dry by then. So just a little bit extra lightness to that. Okay, I'm peeling off that blue tape and the interior part where it's right where we painted that very interior is um, I used the color elephant for that 
and it'll show this is where I'm just sanding and cleaning again which we're gonna do that you're gonna do it the right way and do it all at the very beginning the most important thing with that would be just to make sure that it's all dry before you put down any paint um, and you can see how important it is to clean that off because I'm not sure if there was oil or what but from the sanding it just needs to be cleaned off so it's not mixing in your paint so there I'm going to put the elephant paint and just kind of go along there with your paintbrush it fit in there just perfectly if you have the right size and then I took the color steel and then I did the top of the tray And it's really fun to do this stuff if you're you know watching more crafters on YouTube you just kind of sit back and paint and just enjoy the afternoon I am applying more of that truffle around that edging and that again is to try and make it look a little more rustic and old thank you for joining me today I am happy to be making this tray for you I've had this idea for a while and I'm excited about how it turned out so stay tuned we've continue on with this cute little pizza pan clock okay I'm using my Cricut and I'm cutting out the design I did buy this SVG file off of Etsy. I will link that in the description box. And somebody worked really hard on this and they did a very nice job. And there I've weeded it and this is what you have left. I cut this out of um, black vinyl um, paper. I put it on my transfer paper and now brought it over to the very dry pizza pan now and then just applying that and then you know do it real carefully and things will come off just fine using either um, you know a credit card or that was just a cricket a little cricket uh, spatula thing and just peel away and if it comes up just go back and do a little more pressure on there and it just takes a little time before you know it you've got it all off and I like how it turned out and so I'm just gonna put the clock parts in there and I layered them as per the directions on the clock kit you know they've got a little nut here and a little this and that and so just put it in the order Make sure things are tight. Those uh, um, hands had a little bit of a plastic uh, thing on the top. I peeled that off and they were just sharp and black as ever. This is, I'm just looking to make sure everything's clearing if it's going to be going around. Just checking clearance. There it is. Um, my husband was quite shocked and surprised and I was very proud of this I love how it turned out and again a dollar for the pizza pan and then the clock part I got 50% off at Michael's so it was like four bucks and then I did have to pay for you know the design but it was pretty cheap DIY number two this is a little um, jar thing I got I sanded off kind of scratched it up because it was already painted and using this Dixie Bell and this uh, color is beautiful um, let me see here I'm gonna look it is called vintage duck egg and I only needed one coating these are items from Dollar Tree and I wanted to try this little uh, pen out which is actually more of a crayon but when you use it it is totally you know it looks like it was written on with chalk I don't think it would remove as easily as chalk but you probably could wipe it off and paint over it if you needed to 
And then I just had some jute string and some buffalo check ribbon and just kind of adding, adding that little sign in there and pulling and tugging and fussing and getting that all on there. The bottom I did take and cut down the middle of a, um, it's the jute ribbon. You'll see that I've got that on the bottom and that's another Dollar Tree item. Just uh, put that with some hot glue on the back. And the flowers are very pretty. It's a nice contrast to the color of that uh, vintage duck egg color. I chose some yellow flowers from Dollar Tree and uh, those are called, um, they're called hot bush. So those are kind of a new item. So we're putting in our floral foam and then there's that hot bush yellow. They had orange and green and it just was such a pretty contrast. So it only took one of those uh, little dollar bushes or whatever you want to call it, florals. And then I added some boxwood and then there was just a few gaps. So then I put in some uh, Spanish moss just to kind of fill it all in. And there it is. And again, the yellow and that blue, oh, it's just beautiful. And I really enjoy this. I think my one daughter, Christine, is going to be like, wow, I love this mom. Maybe I'll give it to her. But it's a pretty one. I want to thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. And please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.